In this video, we'll be taking a look at two college basketball games happening on March 27, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. UNLV vs. Seton Hall On Wednesday night, the UNLV running Rebels are poised for an intense clash against the Seton Hall Pirates in the quarterfinals of the National Invitiation Tournament, which will be hosted in New Jersey. This pivotal match not only determines a berth in the semifinals at the illustrious Madison Square Garden in New York, but also signifies a critical juncture for both teams. The Rebels, currently boasting a commendable 21-12 record, have showcased their medal with two consecutive victories in the tournament, triumphing once on the road and once on their home court. Conversely, the Pirates stand at 22-12 for the season, having secured victories in both of their tournament encounters within the confines of their home arena. Heading into this crucial fixture, the offensive prowess of the UNLV squad emerges as a notable asset, instilling a sense of confidence and determination within the team. Their recent performances underscore this assertion emphatically. In their encounter with Princeton, the Rebels exhibited resilience and skill, clinching an 84-77 victory. Similarly, in their latest bout against Boston, in college, they demonstrated their ability to seize control, ultimately prevailing with a scoreline of 79 to 70. Notably, despite a halftime deadlock against the Eagles with a score of 37 to 37, the Rebels surged ahead decisively in the second half. Keelan Boone emerged as a pivotal figure, delivering a stellar performance with 19 points and 8 rebounds. Statistically, UNLV maintains an average scoring rate of 74 points per game, complemented by a defensive setup that concedes an average of 68 points. Deden Thomas Jr. remains a consistent contributor, boasting an average of 14 points while exhibiting an impressive field goal percentage of 45.1. In contrast, Seton Hall's recent encounter against North Texas showcased their defensive prowess, limiting their opponent to a mere 58 points, despite enduring a 14-point defeat. Notably, Dre Davis emerged as a standout performer, contributing 18 points and 4 rebounds to the team's effort. Throughout the season, the Pirates have maintained an average scoring rate of 73 points, juxtaposed with a defensive setup that concedes an average of 70 points per game. However, the impending clash against UNLV accentuates the imperative for defensive resilience, particularly in light of UNLV's formidable offensive capabilities. Cattery Richmond's consistent performance, averaging 16 points while boasting a field goal percentage of 43.5 underscores the offensive potential within the Seton Hall lineup. The recent form displayed by UNLV underscores a trajectory of success that is poised to continue in this pivotal encounter. With an impressive tally of 79 points in their previous game, the Rebels manifest an ability to capitalize on offensive opportunities efficiently. Conversely, while Seton Hall boasts a commendable average of 73 points, they are likely to encounter challenges in matching UNLV's offensive output. Consequently, while Seton Hall may find pockets of success on the offensive end, their ability to maintain parity with the relentless scoring prowess of UNLV remains questionable. Thus, the UNLV running Rebels to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Despite their defensive tenacity during the regular season, the Rebels have showcased a vulnerability in the National Invitation Tournament, conceding an average of nearly 80 points per game. However, facing a Seton Hall contingent that has exhibited a comparatively modest scoring rate of under 73 points per game in the tournament, the defensive dynamics of the matchup assume heightened significance. Both teams demonstrate a preference for a deliberate pace of play, suggesting a contest characterized by strategic maneuvering and methodical execution. Moreover, Moreover, Seton Hall's demonstrated reduction in turnovers throughout the tournament signals an enhanced defensive acumen, mitigating the likelihood of easy scoring opportunities for the Rebels. Consequently, encapsulating the strategic nuances anticipated in this fiercely contested encounter under the projected total is our full game total pick. 
VCU versus Utah, scheduled for Wednesday, March 27, 2024, the upcoming quarterfinal National Invitation Tournament clash between the Utah Utes, boasting a record of 21 wins and 14 losses, and the VCU Rams, with an impressive record of 24 victories and 13 defeats, has garnered considerable anticipation among basketball enthusiasts. The VCU Rams enter the match on a wave of momentum following a hard-fought 70-65 triumph over South Florida in their recent outing. Similarly, the Utes sealed a notable victory against Iowa, concluding with a final score of 91-82 in their previous game, sporting a commendable 24-13 record for the current season, including 11 wins and 7 losses in conference play. The VCU Rams showcased their prowess in their latest contest by edging out South Florida with a final score of 70-65. Displaying a tight contest throughout, VCU maintained a slender 32-30 lead at halftime and demonstrated resilience in the second half by accumulating 38 crucial points to secure the win. Notably, the Rams exhibited sharp shooting skills, boasting a 43.6% field goal accuracy and sinking 10 three-pointers. Building on their recent successes, VCU claimed victory in five of their last six games, including an impressive 70-61 win against Villanova in their inaugural National Invitation Tournament encounter. Statistical analysis reveals that the Rams are averaging 71 points per game, alongside 35.2 rebounds and 13.7 assists, while conceding an average of 66.5 points per game. Key player Max Shoga has been instrumental, maintaining averages of 14 points, 4.6 rebounds, and 3.7 assists per game, with notable shooting percentages of 44.4% from the field, 78% from the free throw line, and 35.7% from beyond the arc, VCU has exhibited commendable offensive prowess this season. Meanwhile, the Utah Utes, with a season record of 21 wins and 14 losses, including 9 victories and 11 defeats in conference play, showcased their medal by overcoming Iowa with a scoreline of 91 to 82 in their previous outing. Establishing a commanding 48-36 lead at halftime, the Utes encountered a resilient Iowa offense in the second half but managed to secure victory with efficient shooting, registering a 46.2% field goal accuracy and sinking 12 three-pointers. Reflecting on their recent performances, Utah emerged victorious in three of their last four games, including an 84-75 triumph over UC Irvine in their inaugural National Invitation Tournament encounter. Statistical analysis analysis underscores Utah's offensive proficiency, averaging 79 points per game, alongside 39 rebounds and 17.5 assists, while conceding an average of 73 points per game. Notably, Brandon Carlson has been a standout performer, averaging 17 points, 6.7 rebounds, and 1.6 assists per game, with commendable shooting percentages of 46.6% from the field, 64.9% from the free throw line, and 35.8% from beyond the arc, Utah has exhibited prowess on both ends of the court this season. The forthcoming matchup sees VCU entering the fray void by their stellar defensive displays in the opening stages of the National Invitation Tournament, conceding 65 and 61 points against South Florida and Villanova, respectively. In contrast, Utah has showcased a potent offensive threat, amassing 91 and 84 points in their opening encounters. Despite experiencing inconsistency in the latter stages of the regular season, Utah Utah enjoys the advantage of home court support, boasting an impressive 16-2 record in home games this season. While VCU fell short in the A-10 title game, their offensive struggles raise concerns, particularly against a formidable Utah defense. Given their formidable home record and offensive prowess, the Utah Utes to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. Analysis based on the latest rankings from Kenpom.com reveals Utah's current standing at 48th with an offensive efficiency rating of 114.4, while VCU trails slightly at 73rd with a rating of 109.9. In terms of their performance against the spread, VCU has accrued a record of 15 wins and 22 losses in games with a betting line. Notably, VCU has witnessed 8 out of 11 away games resulting in the total points falling below the posted total. Conversely, Utah has experienced 9 out of 18 home home games where the point total remained under the posted total. However, recent trends indicate a shift, with Utah surpassing the posted total in their last two games and in seven out of their last ten encounters. Given Utah's propensity for high-scoring affairs at home, over the projected total is our full-game total pick.
That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.